All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Ace Combat at X. Last time we destroyed the Glade Deer. Yay. And the and and we we definitely confirmed that the captain of the Glade Deer is crazy. Yeah, this cutscene is the same, so it doesn't we can skip this cutscene. It's the same. We've already seen it. It's the same as our previous playthrough. Trust me. And the strategic briefing is also the same. So, yeah. Anyways. So, last time we went to the Kalana Steps first. And stopped the, <clears throat> the enemy ground forces at the Kalana Steps. How this time we're, we're going to go to Sachana Air Base first. Mission 9A, Blitz. Raven Woods, 0300 hours. <clears throat> so yeah, infiltration. This is gonna be an infiltration mission, so this ought to be interesting. Let's go. We are planning a surprise attack to recapture our country's largest airbase, the Sachana Air Base. The base, with its large supply warehouses, is a crucial strategic point as well as a vital supply channel. By securing Sachana Air Base, our forces will gain a necessary staging point for a combined Allied assault on the capital. At present, the Laysath Air Force is grounded, but they're mobilizing to aid ground forces fighting on the Kalana Steps. The Skilla unit is also rumored to be stationed at Sachana Air Base. They are an elite team, highly skilled in anti-aircraft tactics. A head-on confrontation must be avoided at all costs. Therefore, we have devised a plan to penetrate deep into enemy territory and strike while their attention is still focused on the Kalana Steps. A sweeping radar net lies between here and Sachana Air Base. However, by flying at an altitude of 1,000 feet, you should be able to make it through undetected. A sudden and precise strike on the base will greatly increase our chances of winning without risking a head-on confrontation. All right. So our objective is to infiltrate the, the air base, is to sneak to, into the air base and, uh, and take them out and uh, yeah, capture the air base before they even know what's going on. I like this plan. Let's go. So for this mission, uh, let us So they'll be both real. I think for this mission we should use uh humma humma. Okay, I think for this mission we're gonna be using the F16 XL. <clears throat> I also consider using the F117, but for this mission I think I think the F-16 XL will work better for for a few reasons, but yeah, let's just go with the F-16 XL. Uh, XAGMs will be fine, or we could use BDSPs. That that could work too, but that that might be a bit too slow. I think, but I think BDSPs are a bit too slow to reload. So we're just actually let me check. What was the last special weapon then for for the F-16 XL again? Uh, SAMs. That's fine. We'll 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 bring the XAGMs. But, like as as effective as as BDSPs would be, I feel like they reload a bit too. They're gonna be their reload is gonna be a bit too slow for this quick mission. So yeah, 
Let's bring the F-16 XL. This aircraft boasts excellent acceleration and control at low speeds, as well as a large weapons payload. So an F-16 XL is an attacker variant. It's an attacker, mod a modified version of the F-16 designed for ground attack. It has a special double delta wing. And uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, it was designed I, as a modification to the F-16 for, for, for ground attack. Except it lost to the F-15E, so yeah. Oh well. <laughs> We're gonna be using the F-16. Decent, yes, pretty good, uh, decent mobility and speed, which is what we need for this mission. For a very good reason. But let's bring XAGMs. And let's go! All right. Roger that. Why was that sick? So why did that sound so different, Crux? So, we're supposed to sneak along the river. Or we're supposed to sneak over the river towards the airbase. But first, we're gonna head to around this circle, this this net of radars, and head towards uh, this guy over there. Because, because that is the star unit. We have three minutes to take it down. Unfortunately, I, 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 feel, I, feel, I feel like it's, it's, oh god, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. I'm a fool. I am a fool. I wasn't paying attention. I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was too busy talking. <laughs> All right. As I was saying, we want to get o go after that guy over there on the left, because that is the. Because that is the star unit, and we also yes. We want to keep our altitude below 1,000 feet. Oof, careful. So yeah, as I was saying, we have three minutes to take to take that guy out before he despawns. Unfortunately, um, the ace is also requires us to reach the air. Spawning the ace requires us to reach the airbase before three minutes. It's is up, and I don't know where if we have enough time to hit both. So yeah. By the way, you can hit those those fla red flashing lights uh, for for points. Well, it's not many points, but it it's points. Yeah, I don't know if we I don't, I don't know if we have enough time to hit both the star unit. So it might be I I ideal to uh to to do two runs. Anyways, let's go deal with this guy. This is the star unit over here. CH uh CH forty seven. A CH-47, a, a Chinook. So, let's just reach that guy quick. Oof. Alright, we're okay. <laughs> Thanks, defensive aid system. Ew. Yeah, we, we, we were out. That was pretty close. We... we Oof, we got a bit uh, uh it too. It, it too too. We were get, we were getting cl re too cl a bit, really close to getting too high right there. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, I don't think we have enough time to hit to get to get both a star unit and ace in one run. Because as I was saying, the star unit, it it you have to hit to get hit the star unit at the start of the mission. Or else he will despawn, and the ace requires you to reach the enemy base within three minutes. So yeah, and we—I don't think we have enough time. Maybe we have, if we had a really fast aircraft, but oh well, it's fine. Anyways, make sure you take out the destroy the gunboats along the way, and don't fly directly over them before they're destroyed, or else you'll be spotted. Oh geez, careful. And 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 make sure to avoid the radars. Oh wow, we uh, almost. I, 
<laughs> think we just clipped the edge of that radar right there. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have enough time. Three minutes is, is gone. It's fine. I know, we can re we can always replay it to get the ace. But we're just gonna sneak at low alt. Oh god damn it! Are you serious? What? You're dead! Oh come on! You are dead! That is BS! You are dead! I killed you! How can you? How can you report part to base if you're dead? Bruh. Okay, so yeah, make sure you, you don't pass over the gunboats too fast, or else they'll spot you before they get destroyed, so... Yeah, let's slow down. We're not gonna make the ace anyways. Alright, cool. After uh, that that last gunboat goes down, you get a mission update. Now you're clear. we're clear the gain altitude. And we're gonna... We're gonna destroy this base. I really should not... XAGMs really was not the right uh, thing to bring. Yeah, I, I, I definitely brought the wrong... I, I really brought the wrong... Um, the, the, the wrong weapons for this. Wow. Maybe I should have brought the BDSPs. Oh god. Uh, wait. We're taking heavy fire. All right, actually, actually, not now. It should it work. Now our XAGM should work pretty well, I think. Nice. We gotta take out all these guys in the ground. All of these targets. There are some fighters that are already in the air intercepting us, so that's fun. Uh, 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 let's not crash. That'll be real bad if we crash now, because then we have to go through the whole thing again. So many grounded bombers, jeez. Why are these planes still uh, still alive? Why are the plane ain't, ain't not destroyed yet? Oh, uh, why why are they counted as <laughs> Why are these planes counted as as air units even though they're on the ground? I hate it. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore these fighters for now. Yay! Yay! We just we 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 can really ignore all most of the fighters in the air. We just have to deal with the all the targets on the ground. So yeah, yay! That was a mess. <laughs> that mission was a mess. <laughs> and now we get to land. So, yay, I guess. Three miles to touchdown. Two miles to touchdown. We once again get to land at the base that we just bombed. Yay. Mm. You're coming in too fast. Slow down. Almost uh, a down short of the runway again. Don't mind that. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, excuse me. The surprise attack was a success. Sachana Air Base is back in our hands. Air power from the base will be a vital asset, especially in the battle to retake Griswold. I have the feeling the day of our capital's liberation is not far off. Yay! Only an A rank. S rank requires you to complete the mission in 5 minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna replay the mission, but we're gonna ignore the star unit and just go straight for the base because that's how you spawn the ace. Hey, that rhymes. Alright. Alright. Easy. This time we brought BDSPs, and we went straight for the... Alright, we went straight for the enemy A base, and here's the ace, Tornado, F3, Gakrook, Gakro, Gakrox, Gakru, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's just kill him. <laughs> He's... He takes three missiles. Ow! How'd that hit me? I was turning. This guy is still alive. He's super maneuverable for some reason. Tornadoes aren't supposed to be this maneuverable, but he's... This guy is for some reason. Okay, he's dead. Cool. Now, now we're just gonna ignore the, the fighters and, cl and just try to clear the base. We're gonna use our BDSPs. Ow. Ow. We're just gonna destroy all of the tar all of the marked targets. And that's how we're gonna win. Screw everything else. By the way, you can't just uh Yay! By the way, you can't just uh, uh, trigger, reach the base, and then go back and and, and kill the star unit. He'll, he'll he'll just despawn. He despawns in the mission once you reach the enemy base. So yeah, I really should have just gone with BDSPs from the start. What? I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> it's so much more effective than the XAGMs. Yeah, what was I thinking in bringing XAGMs? I really should have just brought. BDSPs from the start because look how effective they were. <laughs> Jeez. Anyways, yeah. So the ace, that t tornado Gokrux, spawn spawns uns if you reach the enemy base within three minutes. And then, uh, yeah, he'll spawn together with the with the enemy with the enemy fighter reinforcements. It's fine. We just took some hits. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yay! Griffith One, begin landing check. You're clear to land. I guess we get to land again, sure. Three miles to touchdown. That flashing red light on the tower just makes me want to blast it, like I did with all with the red lights on on the on the approach into the base <laughs> when we were sneaking into the base. <laughs> we just fell onto the runway there. That's fine. That's a little. That's kind of a hard landing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> The surprise attack was air power from the base will be a vital asset, especially in the battle to retake Griswold. I have the feeling the day of our capital's liberation is not far off. Yay, S rank. Three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot quicker if you just go straight to the base and say screw the, the star unit. If you want, you can just do a separate run, run just to kill the star unit. So, yeah. This target honestly kind of just requires its own run if you want to get him. 
But yeah, because it's so much slower. Or it's so much slower because it's so out of the way, and and it goes all the way around. Look at all those aircraft that are chasing me, though. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's gonna be it for uh, this one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.